Hey, it's Alejandro with Remax, and today I want to tell you what's happening in the real estate market for the month of March, and I'm going to give you the real numbers, uh, not the ones that you're going to hear on the news. In the news, you're going to hear that the, the prices are down, and you're going to hear that the sales are down, obviously, compared uh, to last year. But if you are a buyer or a seller and you're looking to make a deal the next three months, you should look at this video because I'm going to tell you in depth what's happening in each of the regions and each of the segments. So first, you got to know how do we know as a realtor whether the market is a seller's market or a buyer's market. And the way that we look at that is by looking at the month's supply of inventory. So how many properties are for sale and how many are selling. So we divide up that number and that gives you the month supply. So let's say anything under three months supply, you're on a seller's market. Anything above that, you're in a buyer's market. So anyway, let's jump in. So we just received it uh, a couple of days ago. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to start with the set with the detach. I'm not going to tell you in general because there's, you know, they're all different buyers. They're different buyers for condos, different buyers for detach. And they're also different price ranges. So we're going to go by segment. So I'm going to tell you what's going on on the detached segment in all the regions. So let's talk first about in, in, in the order here that we have it, which is Halton region. So Halton region, there were 541 active listings and 383 actually sold. So if we divide that number, 541 divided by... 383 gives me 1.41 month supply. Sellers market. Peel region, 825 active listings divided by 560 sales. So that gives me 1.47 under two month supply of inventory. That's a sellers market. Let's look at Toronto. Toronto, there were 1,001 active listings and 666, that's a not number, uh, of the sales, uh, with the that number by the sales, it gives me 1.5 month supply of inventory, less than two months. So we're in a seller's market there too. Now, York region. York region is basically Aurora, King, Markham, New Markham, Richmond Hill, Vaughn. Um, York region, there were 1,016 active listings, 682 sold. So that's about 1.48, so about a month and a half supply of inventory. Um, then we have Durham region, which is Ajax, Whitby, uh, goes up to Clarington, uh, um, Pickering, Oshawa. So there were 542 active listing in 534 sold those that's about a month supply that's even more competitive there um or you can also take a look at here in this graph Th these numbers here at the end on the right that's actually the average days on the market so about 14 days in average so things are moving different counting so we got 39 homes for sale and 19 were sold uh sorry 16 were sold so that's 2.43 so orangeville so you're gonna you have a little bit more supply outside the city simcoe county we got 415 divided by 159 that's 2.6 so the gta durham toronto peel uh mississauga brampton you're on the sellers market guys the detached segment is on the seller's market. It's under two months supply of inventory. Now we look at the semi-detached, the semi-detached segment. So let's look at Halton region, 29 active listings, 29 sold. So that is um, one month supply, seller's market. Peel region, 125 active listings and 175 sold. So whenever you get into that, you're under a month supply of inventory because you only got 125 for sale and there were actually more that sold. That means that you're, you're, you're getting multiple offers. Uh, 
and the average price is about 14, uh, average dates on the market is 14. And, and that's where the prices start increasing whenever you start getting into the multiple offer situation because there's short supply. We look at Toronto, 215 for sale, 202 that's so. So that's close to a little bit over a month supply. York region, we got 56 active listings, 66 sold. Now you gotta understand in the York region, it's gonna be less semis. So a lot of more detached, especially in Richmond Hill, Vaughn and all that. Um, so we have less than a month supply there. Now we got Durham region. There were 31 active listings. We're talking about semi-detached here. You started looking at this video. And we got 68 sold. So that's about less than half a month. That's about two weeks supply of inventory in Durham. Orangeville, there were four for sale and only two sold. Obviously, in that area, there's a lot more detached than semi-detached because, you know, it's, it's outside the city. A lot of properties have a lot of land, a lot of acreage. Same thing with Simcoe County which is Innisfield, Berry, and all that. So um, Simcoe County, there were 10 and then 14. So under a month. So wh what does that tell me, this number? That, that semi-detached are under a month. So if you're going to be most likely competing with multiple offers. If you're a seller, you definitely should do, um, if I'm going to be listing my property and it's a semi-detached, I'm definitely going to do an offer date. I will probably do an offer date on the detached semic too when, whenever we're about one and a half months of life. If in my neighborhood is around there. Anything under two, I will do a, I will do an offer date. Um, now we'll talk about the townhouses. Uh, now these are the freehold segments. So 88 for sale in Halton, 104 sold. That's under a month supply. That's a seller's market. Peel region, 64 active listings 122 sold that's extremely that's two weeks supply of inventory right there york region 182 185 that's a month supply um durham we're looking at 85 active 114 sold less than a month supply so that's a seller's market dufferin county there's nine and seven so that's not bad and Simcoe County is 29 and 32. So the freehold segment, the freehold, is extremely competitive right now. Now we're talking about, let's say, Condo Town House uh, segment. Uh, Halton Region, there are 74 and 78 sales. That's a seller's market right there. Uh, Peel Region, 191 and 162. That's a little bit over a month's supply. So, so that's a... Um, a seller's market right there too. City of Toronto, we got 283 and 154. I'm gonna do this math for you. So 283 divided by 154, that's a 1.83. So that's less than two months supply. And we got uh, York region 107 and 60. That's under two months as well. And we have Durham region, 66 and 66. Um, that's one month supply right there. In Dufferin County, there were one and three sold. They're going to find that a little bit more competitive. And then we have Simcoe County at four and four. So, condo, townhouse segment is also very competitive. Now, let's talk about the condo apartments. So, condominium apartments. Um, in the Halton region, there were 259 active and 132 so i'm gonna do that math for you so it is 259 divided by 132 we got 1.96 that's just under two months supply peel region 408 and 256 408 256 one under two months supply toronto 2675 divided by 1410 so that's 1.9 month of supply. And uh, for York region, 419 and 2, 
39, 419 divided by 239. That's 175. Durham, 124 by 76. So 124 divided by 76, 163. Uh, now, when we look at Orangeville, there, there's nine that were listed and only two were sold. So you're going to find that in the condominium market because that's outside the city. So, so condominiums are not very popular over there. This, you know, more freehold townhouses are popular in, in that region, right? Based on these numbers, I truly believe, I truly believe that the home values are going to increase. Why? Because whenever you are on a seller's market, people compete. And when people compete for the same properties, prices go up. So if everything continues the same way, I think by September, you know, prices are going to start to go back like crazy again. So hopefully this video is useful for you. Um, I know it's a, a little bit of a longer video, but it's all great information. You're looking to buy or sell in the next six months. Give us a call. 416-909-5748. Alejandro with the Bias Real Estate team. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, want to watch more videos like this, and at the same time, learn more about real estate, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and following all the social media channels. Thank you and have a great day.